Let's get sweaty. Hey guys, welcome to another Shenmue Dojo video. Uh, this is more of a News Digest video. You may have seen today that there has been a new interview with Yu Suzuki from IGN.com. Uh, this was conducted by Ezra Krabbe, who is a massive, massive Shenmue fan. And you may remember him from being on the interview series not so long ago. Um, and he works for IGN Japan. Big Shenmue fan, does loads of work uh, behind the scenes with the community. Um, and I'm so pleased he's had this interview with Yu Suzuki. Essentially, this interview is going through 40 years of Yu Suzuki being in the game industry, and it's a celebration of that. Mentions Air Twister, and sort of the build up to that. And then some interesting points that I'm going to pick up. Number one, he talks about Shenmue 4, and I'll come on to that. He also mentions a Yakuza 0 inspired Shenmue 0 idea. It's the first time we've ever had that. I've obviously spitballed the idea in a previous video and I'm going to refer back to that when we talk about this. And he also talked very briefly about the fact that he is working on another game, though there's no particular details around that. So what I think the best thing for me to do is I'm going to pull the snippet of the interview up. The whole interview will be linked below, so go and check it out. Ezra's done a fantastic job with this interview and everybody should check it out. So let's pull this interview up and let's get straight to the nitty gritty stuff here. So talking about Shenmue 4, he wants it to be enjoyable to newcomers. We know that already. It's been mentioned ever since Shenmue 3 came out. Um, he talks about implementing maybe less of the sort of recap story, sort of 20 to 30 percent of it. Um, and he wants to integrate into the main game sort of flashback scenes that you can play, which is sounds really cool. I'd be well up for something like that, being more interactive and then hopefully would engage players more in the game and what hopefully would then lead to be more investment in the story now that's one part of it and i'm going to come on to it the second bit he talks about is essentially shenmue zero so he is asked outright obviously quoting yakuza zero here that it became a turning point for the franchise and had Yu Suzuki thought about it for Shenmue. And he says, yes, I have. I can't go into the detail at this point, but it's something I've been thinking about, he said. I think recreating the streets of Dewita with modern visuals on a new engine alone would make it worth doing. It also connects to the topic of not simply expanding in size. Making a more detailed Dewita than the original Shenmue is an interesting idea, especially if not a remake, but a prequel with a new story. So... That's very, very interesting that it's being lent towards a new story. But let me just park that for 30 seconds to go back to Shenmue 4. He doesn't really talk about anything new here, other than that he wants to implement sort of the flashback scenes that are playable, which I'm all for. Um, and it's good to see that he's thinking very passionately about Shenmue 4. And hopefully, everything crossed, that happens and we get it. The main point here is the talk of a Shenmue Zero. I talked about this in a video a few months back now, and I labelled it as a very sort of high-risk strategy, but a very high-reward strategy if, and it's a big if, it pays off. That's the problem. That's the risk, but there's a big reward here. So how, how do you sell that to a publisher? Because... Arguably, they could go, why don't you just finish the series? Are they thinking, and it seems like that's in the back of their mind here, that Shenmue Zero could essentially be that sort of epiphany moment that Shenmue breaks the mainstream audience and we are away and we get those sales, that uh, powers are yeah, as on to finishing the story in a blaze of glory that Shenmue, I think, deserves. In reality, to make that happen, that is a big 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 ask so how is this going to run as a story well i've mentioned as well using a wow's backstory looking at this it seems that they would be potentially focusing on rio i don't know but they mentioned dobuita and obviously detailing that out fleshing that out it, is that going to cost a lot of money as well think about this for a minute right obviously they've got the shenmue 3 engine they can use that they could recreate, recreate Dabuita in that. You've seen it done with the Dragon of Phoenix project. They can obviously do something and re recreate Dabuita in Unreal. Yeah, use Unreal 4, Unreal 5, whatever wants to suit them. But again, a cost factor here. You're then asking, essentially, for two games. Now, they could 
you know, if they wanted to, I guess, combine the two and maybe use what they learn from a Shenmue 0 to a Shenmue 4 or vice versa. It could work either way. But for asking for two Shenmue games to get funded is, again, a big, big ask. I'm absolutely all for it. I'm all for more Shenmue. I'm just trying to balance out here the pros and the cons of something like this. Would I buy it? 100% I'd buy a, yeah, a Shenmue 0. I'd buy multiple copies of it. But is and is that what people want? I don't know. The responses I've seen on social media today have generally been quite positive towards it. So that's awesome. That's refreshing. I would buy it. Absolutely. I'm just torn on where I sit as to whether it's a good strategy or not. It makes sense if, if you can execute it the way you want to and you can generate those sales to make it the success it needs to be. It could be the shot in the arm that the series needs. But it is a lot of investment, a big, big risk. And if it goes tits up, I'm I'm going on record in saying this, we will probably never get a Shenmue 4. If Shenmue 0 is released first and does not sell well, we are stuffed. That, and that's, sorry to be so blunt about it, is where I think it would end up. High risk, high reward. Um, James and I are going to talk in depth about this on the stream on Friday. So make sure you check that out for us, guys, and check the interview out as well. Moving away from the Shenmue Zero, and I want to give some immediate reaction on that, that the in-depth stuff is coming. Moving away from that, he also talks a little bit about wanting to do a new game, and he's doing a new game at the moment. So coming down the interview slightly, uh, he says here that while obviously it doesn't seem like Shenmue 4 or Shenmue prequel is officially in development, obviously there's a possibility, and that should be exciting, but Shenmue's not all that he's been busy with. He said uh, there's various ideas for other games he'd like to make, he said, and while I can't go into detail about it today, they are working on a game right now. Now that is, for my money... Music to my ears. I am so, so pleased that WiseNet are still working and still making games. 99% isn't a Shenmue related game, but the fact they are working, hopefully generating money, hopefully generating profit, the lights are on, that can edge us towards more Shenmue titles in theory. I'm very interested to see what this WiseNet game is going to be. Um, look forward to it whenever it's announced. Sign us up. We'll cover it. And I'm pretty sure we'll all buy it. So then coming on to the last little part, I guess, of, of this video is he also talks a little bit about Air Twister. Um, and that obviously is coming out on November the 10th. We are covering that in depth from November the 6th with a written review. Uh, we're going to have a video review, stream, hopefully some giveaways as well. Um, today... They launched on Strictly Limited Games, and I'm going to pull this up now for everybody to have a look at, is they launched the limited edition game uh, for Air Twister. So you've got a Switch version, you've got the PS5 version, you've got the only way to get a PS4 physical copy through Strictly Limited Games here, um, and then you've got the limited, or the collector's edition rather, on Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5 and also a art card. You'll notice the artwork on the covers here is exclusive to this version. So having a very quick look at the limited edition when it loads, here we go. Um, you obviously get a nice box with it and it, here's a proper breakdown of what you actually get. So let me enlarge this for everybody to see. There we go. So you get a collector's edition box, you get the game with a reversible title sheet, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, you get the manual, you get an art book, you get a bio booklet of Yuzuzuki, you get the soundtrack, which is fantastic. And there's also a different print version of the soundtrack to the original soundtrack that was on sale in Japan, which I managed to pick up um, last year. And you get an autograph card of Yuzuzuki and also um, uh, a piece of artwork signed by Yuzuzuki as well. So that is available on Strictly Limited Games. PlayStation 5 Collector's Edition is limited to 500 i'm not sure about ps4 switch is limited to 1500 um, and they will likely go quickly so if you haven't picked one of those up make sure you go and do that uh, the link will be below guys we'll be back on friday with a stream and i will be playing shenmue 3 in that stream 
but we will be going into some detail around this Yuzuzuki interview, discussing it at length, and what we think about Shenmue Zero. James and I are also going to do a bonus show around this, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. We also have a new podcast on the way. It's in editing at the moment, and we're hoping to have that released within the next week or so as well. But for now, guys, thank you as always for dropping in on the content. Uh, don't forget to give us a like, share, subscribe on Twitter or X as you call it now, uh, Shemmy underscore Dojo, uh, YouTube Shemmy Dojo VOD, Facebook Shemmy Dojo, Instagram Shemmy Dojo, everywhere else Shemmy Dojo. Don't also forget to give the other community groups a follow like Shemmy Forever, Phantom River Stone, Wandering Through Shenmue, and No Context Shenmue, Shemmy 500k, all the groups out there. Make sure you give them a like and follow as well. And get out there for the fourth hashtag. Let's get Shenmue 4 on the fourth of the month and every month as well, guys. But for now, that is the end of the video. Have a good one and I'll see you Friday. All the best, guys. Have a good one.